Barakata Yahwa, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, Barakata. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and salutations to Yakim out there pushing this word in truth. This is the brother Raya with another video, and uh, as we'll come to see, that uh, fame of the word is close upon us. And I'm going to be reading from an article on Forbes.com titled, Department of Homeland Security Compiling Database of Journalists and Media Influencers. And um, YouTube is a media site. And we know we're definitely influencing people because you got a bunch of brothers coming into the fold and preaching this word, as well as a bunch of people getting cut by this word and making their uh, voices known in the comments section and otherwise. Anyone else just pull their blanket up over them a little more tightly? Just me? The real question, of course, is what the government plans to do with the information it compiles. And there's been no comment on that beyond what is in the posting, which, by the way, has interest from at least seven companies. What they plan to do is not just the Hebrew Israelites preaching this word, but a lot of you uh, patriots out there, they're going to get your information and put you on those, uh, I think it's a uh, the red the yellow and the black list for when they uh, institute martial law, they're going to come after you and uh, execute some of you on the spot and uh, sim send others to you to those FEMA camps for either uh, death or re-education. In today's installment of I'm Not Terrified, You Are, Bloomberg Law reports on a FedBizOps.gov posting by the Department of Homeland Security with the relatively benign sounding media monitoring services. The details of the attached request for information, however, outline a plan to gather and monitor the public activities of media professionals and influencers and are enough to cause nightmares of constitutional proportions, particularly as the freedom of press is under attack worldwide, and attack is not hyperbolic. Every day, journalists face serious consequences including physical violence, imprisonment, and death, the same thing you and sincere brothers face when you're out there preaching this word on the highways and the byways because uh, when people get cut by this word they'll be compelled to fight us some might even try to call the cops on us to get us put in jail and taken off the streets and uh, you got uh, some crazy people out there that might come up with a knife or a gun to try to do something but uh, we're protected by the angels of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah so you shouldn't have any fear while you're out there preaching on the highways and byways a few days ago, the Committee to Protect Journalists launched its annual Free the Press campaign to raise awareness about imprisonment and prison journalists throughout the world. On May 3rd, UNESCO will once again mark World Press Freedom Day to inform citizens of violations of press freedom, a reminder that in dozens of countries around the world, publications are censored, fined, suspended, and closed down, while journalists, editors, and publishers are harassed, attacked, detained, and even murdered. Slacky brothers. Meanwhile, the United States government, traditionally one of the bastions of press freedom, is about to compile a list of professional journalists and top media influencers, which would seem to include bloggers and podcasters, and monitor what they're putting out to the public. And, uh, it's starting from the top at like uh, CNN and major news networks all the way down to YouTube uh, channels, which includes bloggers and podcasters and us. So you see they're uh, putting a dragnet over everybody. Though they, In all honesty, they really don't care about anybody else except the Hebrew Israelites because the elites know that uh, when we preach this word and push that vibration out there, that it uh, brings it, uh, what's that word I'm looking for? It uh, hastens the downfall of whichever kingdom the the Hebrew the prophets of the Israelites are preaching against. What could possibly go wrong? A lot. DHS's media monitoring plan. As part of its media monitoring, the DHS seeks to track more than 290,000 global news sources, as well as social media, which includes YouTube and uh, Instagram, because some of you brothers out there post a lot of information on your Instagram accounts in over a hundred languages, including Arabic, Chinese, and Russian, for instant translation into English. And there are a lot of 
GMS camps prop popping up all around the world definitely speak in some of these languages. So you see they're uh, going after all the camps around the world tr to try to stop this word from going out, though it's too late. The successful contracting company will have 24-7 access to a password-protected media influencer database, including journalists, editors, correspondents, social media influencers, bloggers, etc. And a lot of brothers have been complaining over these uh, past couple of weeks that they've had uh, thumbnails attached to their videos that had nothing to do with the content of their video. Some videos have just been uh, cut off outright and also some channels have had problems because I know it's happened to me when I went to my channel is it said a uh, please come back later there's a uh, technical difficulties so you can see it's gonna be a lot easier for Esau to come down on us and take our channels off when he has control of our passwords and uh, all other aspects of our accounts which he already does but he's just putting us in the law so he'll have a, a legal covering to do a uh, these uh, in a sense, First Amendment breaking uh, activities. In order to identify any and all media coverage related to the Department of Homeland Security or a particular event, any and all media coverage, as you might imagine, is quite broad and includes online, YouTube, print, broadcasts, cable, radio, trade, and industry publications, local sources, national, international outlets, traditional news sources, and social media. Slock it, slock it, brothers. The database will be browsable by location, beat, and type of influencer. And for each influencer, the chosen contractor should present contact details and uh, any other information that could be relevant, including publications this influencer writes for and uh, an overview of the previous coverage published by the media influencer. One aspect of the media coverage to be gathered is its sentiment. Anyone else pull their blanket up over them a little more tightly? Let me get that word uh, sentiment real quick. A view or attitude toward a situation or event, an opinion, as it said, one aspect of the media coverage should be gathered is its sentiment, and our sentiment is the downfall of a uh, Esau system, uh, primarily American Mystery Babylon. So you know, if the Department of Homeland Security is looking through all this uh, media information, we definitely popped up on the red flag. So they're going to be, they're about to come down on us shortly, brothers. And then also this month on the 23rd, you've got the protections of net neutrality getting pulled away. You're seeing all the pieces come together. Why media monitoring and why now? DHAS says the NPPDOUS, National Protection and Programs Directorate Office of the, uh, of the Undersecretary, has a critical need to incorporate these functions into their programs in order to better reach federal, state, local, tribal, and private partners. Who knows what that means? But the document also states that the NPPD's mission is to protect and enhance the resilience of the nation's physical and cyber infrastructure, which we're bringing down by preaching uh, these words, because as we push out that vibration of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all of Esau's left-handed powers are... Uh, falling down and being exposed and uh, no longer having the juice. That line makes it sound as if the creation of this database could be a direct response to the rampant allegations of Russian interference in the 2016 U.S. presidential election, although President Trump, who has normalized the term fake news, can't seem to decide whether that's even an issue or not. And they're going to have a bunch of cover stories like this to come after us because in the end they don't want to really push us out there too much because uh, if the if the mainstream media starts giving us play then you that's just going to open up the word to even more people and even more quickly hasten the downfall of this kingdom. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg thinks it is. Earlier this week he announced the social networking site would remove more than 270 pages and accounts operated by a Russian organization called the Internal Research Agency in an effort to protect integrity of elections around the world. And just think, 
since we preach for the downfall of the American Mystery Babylon, we could be uh, labeled as Russian agents. And if any of you brothers have a Facebook page or Instagram or whatever, they could uh, take your information down as as well as uh, these uh, other social media accounts talking about uh, stuff referring to Russia or the Russian election hack. Within the context of increasing concerns over fake news and foreign interference in elections, an action such as the DHS's database might seem at first glance to be a sensible approach. Not exactly. Unfortunately, increasing government encroachment on the freedom of the press is the sinister backdrop to all of this. Freedom House, which has monitored the status of the press for nearly 40 years, recently concluded that global media freedom has reached its lowest level in the past 13 years. And uh, just think, the uh, apostles and elders of GMS uh, went on to YouTube around 20, uh, 2007, and now we're in uh, 2018, which is definitely in this 13-year uh, period where global media freedom has reached the lowest level in the past 13 years. And they definitely had a big influence of it because with them waking up all the brothers and the hopeful elect and the prophets and such, we've been pushing out this vibration of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, which again is causing these uh, prophecies to come to fruition much more quickly. Esau isn't ready to go into that thousand years of hardcore captivity and uh, bondage. The independent watchdog organization blames new threats to journalists and media outlets in major democracies, as well as further crackdowns on independent media in authoritarian countries like Russia and China. And then it goes one step further. But it is the far reaching attacks on the news media and their place in a democratic society by Donald Trump first as a candidate and now as a president of the United States that fuels predictions of further setbacks in years to come, the report said. Could the DHS media out, uh, database be such a setback? Possibly, and it's not even the first time potential regulation of journalists has drifted across the American political scene.